Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate Saint Bede, this man who lived almost a thousand, uh, over a thousand three hundred years ago, in the eighth century. He was an English citizen of a wealthy family who went to study at a Benedict monk and found his vocation at, and at the age of, age of 30 was ordained priest and was a very, very intelligent and wise person. Uh, that's why probably we don't know exactly why they chose him to be the patron saint of the chapel of the Newman Center, but uh, probably because he was so versed in science, especially astrology and history and really an illuminated man also theology and things of God, probably because of all that wisdom, he was chosen to be here, uh, our patron saint. And we pray to him asking in a special way that we might also be enlightened to be able to recognize the presence of God in our lives. Today's gospel, I think is a very beautiful one. It shows this reality that happens so many times in our lives. On one side, we have the struggle being in the world and all the difficulties that that brings. And on the other side, we have the experience of peace and God and Jesus saying, take courage. I have conquered the world. Obviously, when he says these words, you look outside and you say, well, um, can you define conquer? Because it's not that well conquered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the joke. Sorry, Jesus. I'm sure you did conquer. And, and you see, in, in many of the things of Jesus, there's this, like, time. We are in that time where it has happened, but it hasn't happened yet. He has conquered in one sense. It's done. He has uh, overcome sin and death, and he will come in triumph and overcome all of his things. But we are giving a time of reconciliation and grace so that as many as we can, can come into this realm because once he comes and says okay it's said and done it's said and done and it's over so that conquering is the conquering of the last time which already happens in the hearts that allow him to reign and therefore we live in this experience on one side having the peace of knowing that we are gods but on the other side going through the troubles of a world that is still to be conquered so he encourages all of us, take courage, take courage. And St. Bede in his times, it was also a very complicated and turbulent time. Also, ours might be different, we don't know. But what we know is the Lord is telling us, take courage and continue in my path. Um, today, we don't have enough people. So the prayer of the faithful, you can write it in the comment section, but we won't read them out loud. Uh, I'll just say a prayer for all the intentions that you are writing right there. <laughs>